hello everyone so as you guys can see it has been a pretty productive morning for us dropped stuff off at school ran a few errands went for a nice walk pj and i and picked up my first fall drink of the season no it's not a pumpkin spice latte however saw that they had the apple crisp and i totally forgot about the apple crisp and how much i absolutely love it if you guys know anything about me in the fall i absolutely love apples we all love apples everyone in this household loves apples so yes apple recipes will be coming soon but i got the apple crisp oat milk macchiato upside down iced yes and so good y'all it's so so good now this is a grande but i have them put it in a venti cup and add extra ice that's just a little tip most of you know that if you've been here for a while i've been doing these starbucks runs since i've been on youtube to be honest it's, it's like a big thing now but i've always gotten my iced coffees grande size in a venti cup with extra ice i actually got that tip many 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 years ago from alex here on youtube a very controversial youtuber and instagram <laughs> influencer um, however she does give really good tips on coffee drinks so i had every intention on getting the pumpkin spice latte and then as soon as i logged on to the mobile app apple chris came up and i was like that's what i'm getting i'll get a pumpkin spice latte next week but i'm just gonna enjoy this for now we went to target i'll show you guys what i got so this is a judgment free zone so do not judge me when you guys see this but i got another board <laughs> all right had to give pj some cheerios he gets really hangry um, if he doesn't have snacks so yeah but anyway I got a new board it's really really nice it's from the hearth in hand with magnolia collection so I went over in their little section and I saw this board and I was like oh my gosh I need that so I got this it was $19 not too bad I use these boards every day so that's why I wanted to get another one because my black one I am just using so much and what I'm noticing is that when I'm cutting it's starting to get little slits in it and I don't want to you know wear it out too 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 fast um, this one is really 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 good quality and heavy duty so I got this and I love it so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it um, if maybe I'll stagger it with the black one but for now this one will definitely be getting used um, a little bit more than the black one because I'm starting to see more wear on that one I also got this candle from the hearth and hand um, collection it's in the scent pompous and it smells really 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 good um, they had this size and then they had like a large one with um, that was in like a brass tin I believe it was four wick for $20 this one was only 12 but I decided to get this one because I feel like it looks better on our counter um, than the other one would have so I got this and it smells so good so yeah and they have a bunch of different like fall themed candles out right now um some like apple pumpkin but i'm not really big on like food scented candles neither is pk so we tend to do more just like fresh like woodsy bergamot type scents so got this and i really really like this um jar that it's in like i'm definitely going to keep this and use it for something um once the candle burns out I got that. I got a new claw clip. Um, I needed one that was like shorter for when I just like pull my hair up and like just the front part of my hair up. Um, the longer ones are just too long, so I wanted to just get something a little smaller. So I got this one. It's the Universal Thread brand, but I just thought it was nice and it's kind of like this matte. This was only five bucks. Got 
some wipes for PJ. We've really been enjoying the Millie Moon ones, and so I think we're gonna stick with these. They cost less than the Honest brand, but they do the same thing. They're clean, they don't have any scents or anything. They're natural, um, plant-based wipes. So we're gonna stick with those. And then I picked up a thing of the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This is really good for eczema, dry skin, anything along those lines. I wanted to get this um, to start using on the boys uh, after their baths and showers at night. And then once it gets cold, we'll be doing this in the day before we head out. So yeah, I wanna make sure that their skin is protected. So pediatrician recommended this. Uh, we did take PJ to his one year appointment yesterday to his new pediatrician. And um, I mentioned eczema to him. Well, he mentioned eczema to me because he was examining PJ. And he said to get this because it has um, ceramides in it. So, and it has hyaluronic acid. So if you guys have eczema or if you have children that have eczema, get this. It's pricey. I'm not even gonna lie. This was like $30, <laughs> but yeah, it's so worth it. And I picked up this body wash because I saw another YouTuber, uh, Kyra, mention this. And I actually am a fan of Ashley Teasdale and this is her new brand in Target. So I wanted to try it out. I only got the body wash, but she has a body oil, a body scrub, a spray mist. It's like a hair and room spray. She has body lotion. Uh, yeah, she has a whole line in like five different scents. So I got the Bergamot Cedar Renewing Body Wash because I just ran out of my uh necessary i have like a teeny teeny bitty teeny drop left so i need to order some more of that because i'm completely out so i just picked this up and it smells really good haven't tried it yet but i will be trying it uh tonight when i shower so i got that and then pj is officially a one-year-old and he's officially weaned so no more boob for him so we transitioned him to the ripple kids plant-based milk he loves it i'm so happy because i was so worried that i would have to give him cow's milk and i do not want to give him cow's milk and so found this came highly recommended and this is the milk that he will be drinking. So I just picked up two. He has one in the fridge now, but I just wanna stay stocked on this because he really, really, really likes it. So I got that for him. I got an order from Yvette Sports. It is officially September 1st. Like I said, PJ is winged fully. He's one. It is time for mama to get her body back to reclaim her time. So got some new Yvette Sports items I'm so excited about. I'm actually gonna be working out later this afternoon. So I'll probably wear one of these sets, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got. You all know how I feel about Yvette Sport. They are my go-to for all things workout gear. So shout out to Yvette Sport for sponsoring this portion of this video. The first one I got is this black sports bra in a size, size medium because my boobs have gone down quite a bit since I'm not nursing anymore. So I'm back in size medium in the Yvette Sports sports bras um i do like how the adjustment is on the straps here this is a thicker strap it does have the clasp in the back which is really really nice so i got that and then let's see what else i got here i got this cropped workout t-shirt it's just black it has the yvette sport logo on it Actually might wear this to work out today with some pants and the material is really really nice and 
stretchy i don't know what this is but it's like really nice and stretchy and it feels good i got this in a size medium as well and i got two pairs of pants i think i think they're both black but they're different styles yeah i got these in size medium too but they actually match the uh sports bra that i got as well it had little perforated breathable holes in it so this is technically like a set and then i got these which are super lightweight these are a little more cropped and then they have like a little seam detail down the side and it has a little mesh detail at the bottom also high-waisted Yvette Sports has the best, the best workout leggings out there for a really, really, really good price. Like less than $40 for each piece. You cannot beat that. I'll also leave my discount code for you guys too to get some additional savings. But you just can't go wrong. And I got this top. This is like a tank. This came with pants too, but the pants were sold out. I still wanted the top. Um, because i can just wear these with black pants but it says you vet across the back there very nice and i just like having these like tank sports bras it is padded the padding does come out so you can remove it but i like wearing these you know just with some workout pants and then you could just like throw a sweatshirt over it and keep it moving or you can go work out in it but i just like this and it's like in this grayish blue tone so super super nice love that and then the last thing i got <laughs> because i always have to get some type of jacket i got this oversized zip up cream hoodie because if you guys watch my vlogs you know that i wear that nike one to death so i wanted to get another one so got this one on the sleeve it says yvette the details are just everything like and the quality is so good so i just love this it does have pockets which is nice and it is a full zip jacket very lightweight it does have the pull strings with a little metal detail on the end and it is oversized so I could definitely do this again with the sports bra and the leggings just uh, for a nice little sporty look and yeah so that's everything that I wanted to share with you all I'm gonna go ahead get this stuff put away uh we are gonna work out a little bit later i gotta get pj um situated and then yeah we're gonna go to the gym because my goal now is to get in the gym at least five days a week at least and my goal is to i'm gonna try to run two miles a day so that's my goal i'm you know i'm just i'm setting it real high for myself but i feel i can do it because i've done it before but yeah also i have some sessions uh set up with nick to do some virtual training because i do have sessions still um that i need to fulfill with him that i've already paid for so we had decided that we'll just do it virtually we have a full gym here in the building and so i'm just gonna take my phone and my little phone stand and Nick gonna do his thing. I have my folder here from the gym that he gave me all of my, all my workouts and all my sets and things like that. And so even on my own, I have this folder to refer to when I'm like feeling like I don't know what to do. Um, he has everything spelled out for me. And so that's the plan. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna, do some cardio i'm gonna run like i said i'm gonna try to do two miles and just get back into the groove of things i feel amazing um but i just need to get these last few baby pounds off like i said pj is now one 
he is not on me anymore I have no excuses I can really 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 tighten up on my diet now um, it was really hard for me to do that when I was breastfeeding because you have to take in so many calories to keep your milk supply up you guys don't know I did exclusively exclusively breastfeed PJ for one year no bottle anything he didn't start taking a bottle until recently maybe like a month ago is when he started taking a bottle with like breast milk but we still were breastfeeding on demand and so he would only take a bottle in the evenings and when he would wake up in the middle of the night i would still go in and nurse him so we are free and clear of that he tries to get at the boob every once in a while but he's he's pretty much over it uh he's eating solid foods he eats basically everything that we eat um he eats when we eat and he loves food so i'm so happy about that he is not a picky eater at all like he will literally eat anything that i put in front of him so i have no excuse i just need to whip it into gear and so that's the plan obviously i'm going to be sharing it all with you guys because i know so many of you have the same issues as me whether you're too busy whether you just had a baby whatever the case i want this to be a place where you can come and get some motivation uh, especially if you are a busy working full-time mom of multiples that can be very challenging my situation is a little bit different now because you know i'm now in a two-parent household and so it's not just me anymore so i do have help uh seth is in school during the day and so that helps Helps. but I do have a little bit more flexibility yeah if you've been here for a while I have videos from back in the day when I was solo dolo still getting it in I'll link those for you guys below just to give you a little bit more inspiration um, as to how I was able to successfully you know work out while working full-time in the office nine to five and having a child and being a single mom so yeah let me go PJ's getting antsy.
Yeah, it's your P, turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh, Pointers in the paddock gave my peace. A push a P. Cop no hammers for my peace. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push a P. Hello, everyone. It's the next day. I am getting myself ready for the day. It's 12.30, but I've been going since 6 a.m. I dropped stuff off at school. I got a workout in. I took PJ for a walk. We ran a few errands. He had breakfast. Now he is napping. And I just got out the shower. So I'm going to get myself ready for the rest of the day. It is the holiday weekend. We are just gonna be hanging out. And I thought I would share with you all a few things that I mentioned in my last vlog here, since we're in the bathroom. So first thing I wanna mention, the Summer Friday Sheer Skin Tint Light Coverage love it um, i wore it during pj's birthday weekend and it wears really really well now this is not for my makeup girls this is not for my girls who can like like a good beat and the full coverage this is not for y'all this is for the like no makeup makeup girls this is very sheer hence the name but it does give a nice glow so that's what i like about it i haven't had a bad reaction to it my skin looks good i haven't had any breakouts or anything so yeah this is a good one it does have hyaluronic acid in it which is really nice it does not have spf in it so i have been wearing the summer friday SPF underneath this um, and so that's been working well together yeah I really like it I kept the box because I wanted to show you guys so I got the shade 6 it says this lightweight skin tint adds a touch of sheer buildable color so it is buildable according to the box I have not tested that out so I don't know uh, but again I'm more of a natural makeup girl, so I probably won't try that. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to give my two cents on it. I like it and I'd buy it again. Um, what else? I need to put something on my lips. This is my lip mask by Laneige that I keep keep this in my toothbrush dental hygiene drawer because this is the one that I wear after I brush my teeth at night and after I brush my teeth in the morning so I just like to keep that in there um what else oh couple more things the friend she body wash 10 out of 10 highly recommend so nice smells amazing has a really good lather and it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped or dry um so yeah this is a good one go get it i'm interested in trying the other ones um but i don't know but the bergamot cedar is really nice and then the puma stone that i shared with you guys in my last vlog been loving it again i use a puma stone every time i shower uh, it's just habit i really like it it really gets your feet nice and smooth so yeah definitely check this out guys because if you're like me and the ones that you're currently using you're finding that you're having to repurchase them quite often you need this one it says it lasts five years we'll see <laughs> it's a legit stone so 
yeah i've been loving that so i wanted to share that with you guys i think that's it so i'm gonna get ready i want to go to nespresso um, inside of Bloomingdale's to get some Nespresso pods. I have not bought pods in forever from Nespresso. Um, I've just been buying the Starbucks ones like from Target or the grocery store. I need to get stocked up on my pods so I want to do that and there's one inside Bloomingdale's so I'm going to do that um, after PJ wakes up and then it'll be time to pick stuff up from school but I'm going to go get myself together oh someone asked me how I'm maintaining my hair after I've done it myself thank you guys so much so so much for all of your sweet sweet comments on my last vlog where I showed you guys how I did my hair I appreciate that so much you guys like really recording it helped me so much so I'm probably gonna have to record every time I do my hair because that was like a self motivator for me yeah because I was not going to do it at all. I was really going to wait till my mom got here. But I was like, nope, Shana, you can do this. Turn the camera on and get going. So thank y'all so much. But I'm super low maintenance. I wrap it every night. And then when I go to the gym, I just throw it up in a high ponytail. Not like this. This is just like a little bun that I did for the shower. But if you guys saw in the clip where I was running on a treadmill, I just threw it up in a loose high ponytail with my little silk scrunchie. And that's it. And then I wrap it at night with my scarf. I have videos on how I wrap my hair. I'll link them here and below for you guys, but check those out if you wanna know how I wrap my hair. Um, but that's it, super low maintenance. I don't put oils, sprays, or anything in my hair after it's done, it's done. Um, I don't put heat on it after it's done. I just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, ponytail it, bun it, scarf, that's the key satin or silk scarf silk pillowcase that's all i do um so yeah i'm going to throw on a little bit of makeup let you guys watch throw on some music y'all love you know vibing out with me with the music so i'm gonna throw some music on for y'all and we're gonna get out and run these chicago streets one in the same Radio vibe, I can see we on the same page You independent and you ain't needing a thing But I'ma pull up on you with everything that you crave What's up? What's the deal? I can't show love if it ain't real Is it real? I feel like I said this shit too many times before No baby, get with the vibe or you can find a door You can find a always a way out Fuck it, man, up, cause that shit played out My little baby, that's coming, I'm not finna play about I share my world with you I share my world If you're gonna waste your time You need to waste your time with me What's up? What's going down? I reach out and I get shot down And get spray, I get shot down When you with me, she get it figured out But you independent and you got some different routes down. Shawty like a melody in my head, yeah, yeah, yeah I was drunk when I said what I said, but it's so fresh, girl It's several different ways to go about it If you gon' waste time, don't waste time on that Nothing's a jet boy Stimulation which you can't ignore I didn't even know what I was waiting for What we waiting for? I just know it's better when we laid up Put you on the side with your face up Spend a lot of time, I wouldn't say that it's a waste much More of a waste when we FaceTime and we can't touch Part of my French, but these niggas, they don't give one fuck But you know it, that's why you untouched I ain't gon' lie, if that nigga fuck I don't wanna know, and if he try, you ain't get touched I don't know what type of rules they abide by But me and baby stick to the cold like it's my tie Baby want me on trial, need an alibi but tell me, baby, is it really mine? Is it really mine? If you're gonna waste your time You need to waste your time with me No pelamos el tiempo con eso es vamos afuera Ya tú sabes que quiero
quiero chingarte Rap for me, ven como te pillaste Te dije que te extraño Te dije que te quiero, baby If you're gonna waste your time You need to waste your time with me So we just left uh, Bloomingdale's and I got some coffees and some other little goodies. I'm gonna show you that stuff when we get back to the house. But we just came up here to like their little food court, but it's kind of like, it's like a food hall. It's like more of a fancier food hall. I just got some coffee, iced coffee from this little cafe. I could have got coffee at Nespresso, but it was all hot and I don't want hot coffee. I've already had my hot coffee for the morning. So, um, now we're just sitting here, um, PJ's having his milk, and we're just relaxing before we head back. So, also need to stop at Ulta, pick up a couple things that I want to get for the house as well. So, yeah, but when we get back to the house, I'll show you all the stuff that I got while we were out. I just wanted to pop in and take it. But I love this little area. It's very like just calm and you know peaceful and it's a nice little vibe. So yeah, the food is okay. PK and I have come here before and we're not like crazy about the food selections here, but it's a nice little like vibe. So yeah, but I will see you guys back at the house. All right, bye. All right guys, so we are back home from Nespresso and also stopped at Alta. Met the sweetest, sweetest lady in Nespresso. Her name is Jackie. She was so nice and so helpful. I told her that I was new to the city and my city did not have Nespresso. And I was like so overwhelmed in there, but she was so sweet. It was nice. PJ and I walked. It was a really, really, really nice walk. So here is the bag. I got the newest flavor, Papua. I don't know, but it's this one. So I wanted to try that. I got the Malazio Boost. This is one of my favorites. So I wanted to get another one of these. Got the Caramel Cookie, which is another one of my favorites. I love this. Did I show you guys the one? No. And then, of course, you guys know I had, I had to get a pumpkin spice. So I got pumpkin spice as well. Um, I also picked up a Nespresso descaling kit because I need to 
clean this machine and I also picked up a set of the new mugs I saw Octavia share the espresso version of this in her last vlog and I was like that's so cute so I was in there and I saw that they had different sizes and so the lady that was helping me Jackie she told me that for the pods that I get this is the size that I need they come in a set of two so I got the largest size and look how nice these are guys so they're called the nude collection how nice are these so I cannot wait to make my morning coffee in this I don't have anything like this I also got rid of a lot a lot of my mugs I also when I got here got rid of some more mugs because I realized I just had too many multiples like I don't need four of the same mugs when I'm the only person in the house drinking coffee uh, but these came in a set of two but yeah really really nice and because it's Labor Day weekend I got 20% off yeah love these mugs so much then I went to Ulta and picked up a hand wash by way this is the exfoliating hand wash i am going to put this in the main bathroom because my hands have been so dry lately i don't know what it is but it's not like a dry like they need to be moisturized it's like they need to be exfoliated like i even used my puma stone in the shower uh on my like hands because they're just so rough i also used the way scalp and body scrub and just rubbed my hands really good with it and that helped a little bit but I don't know like my hands have been so so dry lately so I thought I would give this a try it's a hand wash and an exfoliant so I'm gonna give it a try but it's by way and it smells really 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 good like if you're familiar with any of the way products then you know they they have really good scents so I got that and then I also figured why not get the lotion as well so I got the hand lotion and that's something honestly that I don't really do and I think that is a problem as well when I wash my hands I don't moisturize them at all unless I'm out and about but like around the house I do need to get in the habit of keeping my hands moisturized so I figured if I have this out where I can see it and I don't have to like go through my purse and get my hand cream or go in the bedroom and get my hand cream on my bedside table things like that like if this is just right by the sink then I wash my hands and moisturize and so got that little combo and I'll let you guys know how I like it I've never tried the hand wash or the lotion but I love the body scrub by way so much it's so 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 good it's probably one of the best scrubs on the market in my opinion so yeah love this and these are large bottles now they're pricey but compared to like my like joe malone and um byredo these are really good sizes 16 fluid ounces fluid ounces for both and i just like the way they look too so these are going to look really good on the sink so yeah guys that's everything that i wanted to share with you all in today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed thank you all so 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 much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one bye